Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We have five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a, a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Serve the one you love. Once you decide to be a couple, you're there to serve the one you love, to serve your love to your lover. And every kiss and every touch you feel, you're there to please the one you love without expecting anything back. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow Industrials up 112, NASDAQ up 48, SP's up 12, gold contract down $6.70, trading at 12.0890 an ounce. Silver down 7 cents at $17.11 an ounce. Platinum up 13 bucks at 9.96 an ounce. Copper up six pennies at 2.70 a pound. Light sweet crude up 32 cents trading at $53.07 a barrel. Notes, the 10-year note down 15 ticks, 124.10. 30-year bond down one full point, four ticks, 150.28. Now, notes and bonds, folks, yesterday, they go top side. They have wide price spread, big volume. Pull back today with what? Light volume. Notes and bonds still want higher price. King dollar. King dollar up 155 ticks. You're trading at 100.285. King dollar been on a downtrend for a couple of weeks. Had light volume yesterday, light volume today. It rejected lower price today. You can expect a counter trend bounce. More than likely, we're going to set up a B to a C of an ABC structure on the way down. Uh, once King Dollar got under the 100.600 area, bottom line, it's a failure. After testing its highs three separate times, bottom line, it failed. Uh, I do expect what you're going to see now is it's going to try to make a run over that level again. Uh, if it's on light volume, that's just a B to a C of a much larger ABC structure on the way down. The euro, the euro is trading at 107. The yen is trading at 113.79. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? What we have, folks is that you get a SPY that is up $1.45. We did 83 million shares. You're at 227.60. The high, December 13th, is 228.34. The low of that high is 227. That's saying that high is going to get tagged. Now, that high had 110 million. We did 83. I expect you're going to see that try to get tagged more than likely tomorrow. Dow Industrials. Dow Industrials that... Uh, elusive 20,000 number is still out here. We went up 112 bucks today. The last closest that we got to it was on January 6th. That was the 19,999.63. And there's no reason you can't whack that tomorrow. Uh, what we did do is that you um, went forward and you went forward with 865 million, which is not big volume, but it's not bad either. Uh, what will help the... Dow Industrials, and we'll know by 4.30, right when we're on the air, uh, is that Texas Instruments is going to be coming out with numbers at 4.30. Uh, Texas Instruments is at 77.08. And uh, bottom line is that, that that had some decent juice into it today. Um, and it's not that the aspect of uh, good old Texas Instruments, um, you know, could can do a huge amount uh, to, to the Dow Industrials, okay? Because, in fact, it's not in the Dow but what it will do is it will put more juice into IBM and a few of those other large cap stocks. We go over and we take a look at the uh, NASDAQ composite, the, no, the NDX 100. So inside the NDX 100, what you have is this. It got a bid higher. We're up 83 cents. You're at $124.18. You did 16 million shares. So the stretch is pretty dramatic, meaning that your first high that when you took out the consolidation was on January 6th. You went to $122 from 120. You did 24 million shares, which by itself is light volume. Then you got to a higher high with 16 million shares. Then you got to a higher high with 22 million. And now you get 16 million. Bottom line, it's a stretch in an incredible way. Um, you know, and we will see um, at 415, because at 415, uh, what you are going to have uh, is you're going to have eBay come out with numbers. Now, uh, what will happen is that the futures close at 415. 
Uh, bottom line, though, I expect we're going to see some volatility out here. The reason being is that uh, eBay doesn't look to me like it wants to go to higher price. Uh, not dramatically lower, but we're at $29.99. It looks like $28 uh, is game on eBay. Gold contract. What do we have with gold? Gold contract out here today. Uh, traded to a price point of $12.20. You're $12.09. You did 210,000 contracts, which is good contract volume. Uh, it looks to me like gold's going to more than likely pull back somewhere into the 1198 to 1177 area. You know, gold has been on a one-way streak. Uh, you go back and we take a look at gold December 23rd. You were at 1129. Bottom line is you went up 100 bucks. It's normal to pull back um, into the strength. And so that strength, uh, 1198 to 1177. Silver, same type of setup uh, as gold. Uh, silver right now is trading at a price point of $17.00. And 12 cents. That move there, we had started at 15 bucks. You went to 1731. If you do take a look at it, we did 50,000 contracts out here. Uh, and what you have is that uh, this can pull back into the like 1690 to 1650. Uh, the equities themselves, what you had out here today is that they were pushing highs with volume. So even on a retracement, those babies are going to be right back topside. Bonds. We go take a look at the notes first, and this is pretty cool, folks. Okay, so yesterday you go topside, big volume. Today you go downtown, price destruction, no volume. What does that set up? That sets up higher price. You know, uh, we went higher yesterday on the 10 year, 1.68 million contracts. You pull down today with a million contracts, and you're pulling into 1.8 million. 30 year bonds, same type of setup in the 30 year. What you have with the 30-year 30 30-year 30 pull back today with 198,000 contracts. That little baby was pulling back into 278,000. Bottom line, wants higher price. King dollar. What do we have with king dollar? King dollar is what it's all about, folks. King dollar is moving the markets out here uh, big time, too, which is pretty cool. So king dollar, you know, we go back, we look at this. January 3rd, king dollar is at 103,815. Today, we're at 99,885. Bottom line, rejected lower price, had light volume, only did 29,000 contracts. That sets up nice counter trend bounce. This counter trend bounce can get you back up to 101.295, and we'll see what kind of volume. You go up there on light volume, that's a monster ABC structure. Uh, and it looks to me like good old King Dollar wants to go to the 95 area. That's where we started out from in November, and I suspect we're going to get there pretty quick. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming back with some numbers for you. Be right back. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com.